This is a space heater. Okay, coming in from Pememinol, 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 this company, uh, we have a portable space fan heater type thing. As it's coming into winter, what would you need more than a portable space fan heater to keep you toasty on those cold nights? And to see how exactly these work. So we're going to take it out and have a wee play with it and see what exactly 30 pounds worth of space heating will get you. Okay, so you get an instruction manual that comes in a variety of different Asian dialects. Uh, it's 600 watts and something is 150 centimeters. And it's got ABS, which is an achievement, uh, plus PPS. Uh, payment protection service I don't know uh, yeah all right well we'll plug it in and see what happens daring to actually open the instructions I discovered they're all English aside from the ones on the back okay so yeah um, we're okay we're in good stead okay so we have inward set packaging stuff and straight up we notice that it's well guarded okay so it is plastic uh, there's a handle on the top here for movement uh, we have a grill on the front and you can see some heat elements in behind there uh, it's branded Nuber one noob or one yeah okay we'll go with that on the bottom we have some actually kind of plasticky feet not so much rubber uh, it's like a a glossy plastic or is there it feels like there might be ah oh, there is little bits of protective uh, adhesive at the top or not, not adhesive uh, protective plastic so ah they're now very spongy that's that's an odd little thing to include and also an odd thing for me to notice right um yeah so on this side we just have the the attachment for the handle. Round the back we have probably an air intake. Then on this side we have all of the action. We have a fan, we have a, a turny roundy yindy yuppie thing and we have a an on off setting for off or maybe on in the middle there and the other end of the spectrum. Okay so uh, it's not much else to do other than turn it on see if it works. So a standard three pin plug with a cord that is roughly about 150 centimeters. Oh! We plug that in. We're currently set to... see this feels like it moves. Ah, aha, that's what that button does, right. So we turn it on. Sucking air in there. And pushing hot air out the front. We turn it up a level. And does it start to glow yet? Well, let's press this and get it rotating. Now oh, it's rotating away from the camera. How uncinematic of you. You have no screen presence. Okay. I can smell it. There's a bit of a, a burning kind of smell come out. Or not a burning smell, but a, a heaty smell. So there's a warning in the instructions that this will become a hot surface eventually. I can feel a bit of cool there as well. It is. It's it's blowing out cold air. We must have changed the setting somewhere along the line. So the button guide. One handle. Oh, I can feel heat now. 
Oh, I can smell that heating smell. Uh, two wire netting. Probably got the paper a bit close to it. It's going to combust all of a sudden. Uh, wire netting, caution, hot surface. Three is the base down here. Four is the speed. So for this this one. I can I can see the heat now. It feels like it's actually turning it up the, the speed of the fan. Uh, five is the rotate button and six is power hot and cool. So it, it doesn't picture that on the side so anyone coming along is not going to know exactly what the, the instructions here are <laughs> instructing you to do. Um, so we, we have it on hot and it is. It's hot. Yes. Well it is right here. Um, in a cold room, I imagine that would probably generate quite a bit of heat. We'll hit it, turn it off. And it's still heating, still warm. But then perhaps it's, uh, yeah, it's starting to get cooler. So it's blowing the fan to cool the element down quicker than the fan, the fan just cooling down normally. Which is quite a nice idea, I suppose. So the rotary switch, uh, there is a, a prompt tone which will turn the rotary switch when you turn the rotary switch. So uh, it, it all seems to be fairly simple as to what this does and how well it does it. Um, Inner temperature protection. When inside, temperature higher than 70 degrees, the device will stop heating, so it has an auto switch off at 70. But I would love to know what the power, power draw is on this. Because I can't imagine these things being particularly power efficient. So having a quick read through the instructions, there are, there's only two speed settings here for us to... Uh, to carry on with and then there's just hot and cold so we can have it put it up to cold uh, it automatically turned off the rotation so we hit the rotation and we press the speed button and that takes it down a notch so it's less warm so I'd like to know exactly how it cools it other than just rotating through warm air. Say we are in a fairly warm room right now. It does feel somewhat cooler than the air over here. But then that's that's part and parcel of it because obviously the way uh, fans work is that it pushes air and it, it cools it down as it goes through through natural mo motion. But there's no actual air conditioning in here to cool things down altogether unless there's something special inside but it's not getting particularly cold if I turn that up to the higher speed so yes after letting that run for a couple of minutes it, it isn't changing the temperature of the air very much it's maybe gone down a degree or so that you would normally expect from a fan it's a neat idea um, obviously uh, it'll help circulate the 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 air in the room a bit better and also it says that it's natural air it's it mustn't be doing anything in particular to it inside there it's just a fan pushing it through and then these three elements can heat up whenever you need to heat the room so it is it's just a very small rotating electric fire <laughs> from the 1960s and 70s it's got a little bit of tech in that it'll switch off at certain stages. Obviously, if it doesn't, it goes above 70 degrees, as I've already mentioned. And it says it's got anti-fire risk in it as well, so you can leave it going. It would be lovely if this had some kind of thermostat on it so that you could keep it at maybe 20 degrees or something. And if it drops below 20 degrees, this thing kicks in. Uh, I'm caught talking 20 degrees C here now. Yeah this thing kicks in and starts trying to heat it up uh, much like a blow heater uh, and I think even the cheapest of blow heaters 
can have that setting on them as well. This doesn't have it, which is a bit of a pain. However, it does have that rotation feature, which is kind of nice. So you've obviously got to be aware of the wire as well, which is constantly moving. Um, I would imagine that setting this on a desk, you could accidentally put something on top of that to stop the, the motor going, and that could actually impact the motor at some stage. And then, of course, the description does say that this is a quiet space heater. It's relatively quiet, but it's not something that you're going to have working in the room uh, while you try to sleep. I couldn't imagine anyone actually managing to gain some sleep with this. It's about as loud as a pretty beefy computer without soundproofing on it. It is. It's not vacuum cleaner loud. Um, it is just fairly loud. It sounds like any other blow heater. So it's a nice enough gadget to have, I suppose. Um, in, a, in a cold room, you could certainly feel the benefits of it. Um, right now, it's a fairly warm room and I'm not feeling the benefits of the fan. Uh, however, I could feel the heat coming out of it and it was getting mildly uncomfortable up here, uh, sitting right in front of it. And for the, the speed of the heat coming through, I, that beep signified me switching it over to hot air and it's starting to get hot and it, it maybe takes about 20, 20 seconds for it to actually get up to full temperature there. That's, that's uh, getting quite roasty toasty right here. Uh, and I can feel it hit on my face. Um, it, it would be hitting about here. Yes, it is quite warm in front of the camera. You can't feel it at home because of, well, the, the glass in your screen is preventing the heat from getting out at you. If you didn't have glass there, you would feel the uh, the heat from this. But we'll just turn it off now. We'll let it cool down. And uh, we're getting into winter, so I'm going to have a wee play with it to see exactly how well it assists me if I actually go and use it. If you don't have good insulation, it's probably something you're going to want to have. I would be interested to see just how much it's going to add to the electricity bill uh, if you were to use it, if it's the same as any other blue heater or if it does anything differently. They don't seem to advertise too much in the packaging of how economical this is, so I can only assume that it's going to be the same as any other blue heater. It's just it's a pretty swish design. It's got a little bit of rotation on it and it, it does cold air as well as warm air and it's small you can it's it's almost portable aside from the power cable so let me know if you have any questions down below hit that subscribe button give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy Ooh. and other than that take care